So what are we each of you loving most about this show? Say again, sorry. What are you loving most about your character, the show, the experience? Besides having a job? Yes. <laughs> um, I like playing a psychiatrist. I like that um, Sarah Reese is a role that goes a little bit beyond, um, <laughs> a little bit beyond. That is not, uh, I think, typical for a lot of stuff that I'll typically audition for. boyfriend girlfriend drama you get a lot of um teenager fights you get a lot of i mean no disrespect to like the amount of inventiveness that there is but i think psychiatry specifically working in ED, um getting to work with oliver getting to explore the topics that we explore is almost as much as i could ask for in a serious job with its stimulation with the conversations that it ignites um and with the said that when you know working in Chicago is fantastic because it's uh, it's Chicago it's such a it's a great it's a great city it, it's you know I often think of Chicago actually as the capital of America in a way you know it's it's um, well because you will you, you might go well is New York or Los Angeles those are I mean, I'm a New Yorker I, I love New York it's my home it's it's a it's a it's 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 its own thing, you know. It's actually for a much more international city, arguably. Um, it, but but Chicago is there's something about you know it's a city of broad shoulders. It's like it's the it's, a, it's the capital of the plains, and it and it and it also the thing that astonishes me about Chicago is you know the the amount of of culture, you know the and and the organic sort of. I mean, you think about it, you know theater. Uh, uh, visual arts, you know, comedy, uh, music. It's like, and there's and the, the thing that distinguishes uh, art in Chicago in general, not not to mention the most extraordinary public art of any city I've ever been in. Chicago's public art. You walk it around Chicago, it's amazing. You know, like, uh, uh, but but there's a lack of pretension about, and there's a there's a sort of roll up your sleeves, grounded attitude Come towards the, the work that that, that that people do here. Which is incredibly refreshing, you know. I mean, in New York, you walk into an art gallery, and there's, you know, some 18-year-old dressed in black looks you up and down. It just doesn't happen here, you know. what I mean, it's just a, it, there's a Midwestern sensibility that informs everything that happens here, including the, you know, the everything cultural. And I, I think it's that to me was sort of the big revelation. I knew it was an incredible theater town. I knew that it was the you know the second city, you know what was uh, you know happened here. But it's just so much more than that. But more importantly, the, the attitude. You know. Can you preview a little bit Reese's reaction, uh, how he's going to react to the shooting, and then how um, that's going to affect your character's relationships or race? Um, We've seen the premiere. You've seen the premiere. Well, then you see that we have very different attitudes, right? Um, I think that the, what, what I can tell you is that the first, you know, sort of uh, significant part of the season, I mean, we're really actually still, we're in episode 10, and we're actually sort of shooting the tail end of, of all the complicated effects of, of, uh, of how we experience it, and particularly Sarah experiences, you know, the, the, the consequences of, you know, discovering that psychiatry can be dangerous. Discovering that you know what happens when the person that brought you into psychiatry gets gets shot, and then I think she's very confused by my reaction. 
I'm confused by my own rate. I mean, a psychiatrist getting shot by one of his own patients, that's a really interesting lemon to squeeze, you know what I mean? And I think that the writers do a really good job of that. I mean, PTSD, we talk about P it's PTSD, but it's happening to us, you know? Passing. Oh, it's like your dad got shot, and you had like a really visceral reaction. Sarah's of like, he's not, I haven't talked to my dad, and you know, he's not my dad, but there is kind of that father daughter relationship. So we see that while he's dealing with his own daughter and this this kind of surrogate relationship, does that continue to play out? Father daughter, yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think the nature of the relationship changes. I think you're just seeing uh, a higher stakes circumstance that the relationship is involved in right now. I mean, most, most television shows, if you think about it, are about family on some level, whether it's a metaphorical family or an actual family. And, you know, for Dr. Charles, one of the, you know, he, there's his actual daughter, and then there's his sort of like, I mean, I think in many ways, you should, you should shut your ears when I, when you, shut your ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like the daughter that he always wishes that he had. And it's also, he's a, was a very flawed, he was not the greatest you know, father when his kids were younger. And so he sees, uh, you know, whether he's conscious of it or not, an opportunity to sort of like, and yet what I love about it is that we're very careful about, you know, there's a real, there's real formality what, what, in, in the way that we deal with each other that sort of protects, that allows these things to play out. We never let it, we don't want to let it get too mushy because then when you do, we do have those moments of, of contact when we're clearly helping each other, they mean more. You know what I mean? 